Hi guys, how are you? Can you hear me? Thank you. Uh, okay, so let's get started. It's like, I think uh, we will have one more AMA this year and I think it's gonna be not on Friday next time, but maybe on Thursday. So this is like our last regular Friday AMA this year. And we haven't missed a beat. We've made all the AMAs every Friday, no matter what. <laughs> so, and I think I'll, I'm going to be doing this forever now. Okay, so let's get started. And Christmas is coming. Uh, holidays uh, are almost there. Uh, you have, I think, some kind of like festive mood already. So I think let's try to make this AMA a little bit more fun. And let me just give you an update on everything that's going on on the Wave ecosystem, and then we'll have some fun because a uh, team. On Waves has prepared some fun for you. And uh, just give me five minutes to do the usual thing to explain to you what is happening now. Uh, Waves 1.5 is coming. It's on the test net. Uh, no major bugs found. Uh, so soon the miners will vote for activation. Around New Year and after the New Year, uh, it will be activated. And right after that, Waves 2.0 is coming. There's going to be a very small time between 1.5 and 2.0 uh, because we work on them like in parallel. And as you know, it's going to be a separate project in a way because we are launching an ecosystem of interconnected EVM chains based on Waves. It's going to be called units. And I promised to start some kind of like airdrop campaign, but I made a decision to prepare it better. So currently I'm working with several uh, marketing agencies uh, and we want to do a very big thing. So it's going to be something that might be quite similar to what other projects are doing now, because it's basically a pretty mainstream project which is not usual for us. Uh, it's like in EVM chains, uh, L2s, and there is some way to connect them. There is nice ideas about uh, restaking. Uh, uh, I will maybe not share now, uh, but it's, it's going to be very nice. So we're going to do a very big retrow uh, drop campaign, basically. Uh, and the terms are coming, so we need to prepare a bit, but it's going to be massive. And I'm talking to like different VC funds, so it's quite interesting. So it's not going to be uh, something just to know, to give people who have stuck liquidity in Virus, to give them something. No, it's going to be a very big thing. So we, we, we better get prepared for this. Uh, and guys, it's time to help us help you, you know. So as you know, we have Ambassador DAO. The second round has started. You still can uh, join, you know, so you, you can join now with your power, but you can fill out the form. Just check my Twitter. There is a link to the form and you can start promoting waves and get paid for this. Because if you are like a good promoter, if you have some following on social media, we can credit you some power tokens and you will be receiving 10% monthly on the tokens that you have in power uh, protocol. Uh, and it's just starting. I like the way it works. Uh, nobody did this, I think, uh, in crypto in terms of like decentralization of marketing. Let's see how it goes, but I think it's gonna be successful. It needs some work. Uh, and like dedication, I think, but <laughs> I think we'll manage. So join it because uh, 
a lot of things are coming, guys. And uh, I think you need to get involved. There is some new people now in the ecosystem, some old people, and we should all together make it happen with your help. Yeah, so, uh, and of course, uh, we uh, can't forget about the problems that we have been facing uh, for more than a year by now. So, uh, and uh, this week, there is an update, basically, people who have stuck liquidity uh, on Waves.exchange in Bitcoin and Ethereum can uh, convert to vesting. Uh, it's 500 days vesting for now. It might be changed in future. I, uh, if things go better, we might change the terms for the better. Uh, but for now, it's like 500 days vesting and you get your BTC or Ethereum worth. So it's not some kind of like uh, vesting uh, where you basically have to wait till the token that you get investing goes up in price. No, it's not like that. You get your money worth. And I suggest you to check it out if you haven't yet. Uh, basically, we had some like volatility in the ecosystem because of that, because people uh, started to do arbitrage through LP tokens. So it's like a bit complicated. Um, it's kind of over yet. <laughs> XTN went down a bit, but it's okay. So, but on the other hand, we started releasing funds from BTC and Ethereum, which is a good thing. Yes, guys. So basically, that's it. Preparing. Units, uh, product is almost there actually. Technically, uh, it's going to be done around January, and this is when we have to really start bringing people to the ecosystem. That's it. Now you can ask me questions, but before you do that, let me show you some something that you can have fun with right now. <laughs> Some entertainment uh, before the new year. So I will share the link now. Maybe, maybe, yes, new game is coming, basically. <laughs> it is like, you know, uh, a new old game because this game was launched several years ago. I can't tell you exactly when, uh, but I don't think you all know this game. So let me share the link now. And it's very interesting. Let me just. Yep. When serve swap, I will answer in a bit. Yeah. So, guys, let's just play this. I think some of you know this game, some don't, but it's fun, anyways. So, this is like a Christmas tree, as you can see. Let me explain how it works, basically. Uh, you need to select a box. It costs you two waves. You can win two, uh, six waves. I played before uh, the EMA started, and it works. So basically, you can just hang a toy on the Christmas tree and win some waves. And it's not just like... An image, it's a proper NFT. So when you uh, play, you get an NFT on Puzzle. Let me share the link with you where you can look for your NFT. It's here. So guys, have fun. You can also hang your own toy. You should reach out to the team with your picture, with your uh, NFT, and you can implement it as a toy which people can hang on the tree. And also there is some Easter egg. <laughs> uh, okay, let's wait uh, for the first person who finds the Easter egg there. It's not like a proper egg, it's something different, but it's also very fun and you should click on that thing. So please, please tell me when you find this and what's, what's it look like. 
six waves. Yeah, <laughs> guys. <laughs> Everybody is winning. Okay, so I uh, please uh, don't rob the bank. You know, I'm not sure how many waves are there. So <laughs> somebody has to lose because I won as well before uh, the EMA started. <laughs> okay, and please share what Easter egg is. When you find out, please share with the community, with everyone. Uh, maybe you can make a screenshot. And, and I actually recommend you to click on that Easter egg when you see it on screen. Okay, now there are questions while you're having fun. Uh, let me just uh, answer to your questions. Answer your questions. How the waves ecosystem demand been changed last year compared to previous period? Yeah, so as you know, we had a lot of problems so this year. Uh, they're all not resolved yet, uh, but we're still alive, which is good, you know. It, I think it's good, you know. <laughs> uh, we are going through difficult times, and I don't mean waves. I mean humanity. So it's good when you're alive, and <laughs> I think it's a success. Uh, I got a yes, and let me tell you. So either you win six waves, or you get an NFT. So you can do both. So you can win some waves, or you can get an NFT. Uh, when you lose, when you lose your two waves, you get an NFT, which you can find uh, on Puzzle Market. Xmas toy is also nice. <laughs> Scrolling up to find your questions. Christoph with uh, his uh, perennial question. When surf swap? Yes, yes, but just give us some time because uh, it doesn't, because as you know, and you basically um, came up with that idea that we should uh, swap it uh, to L2MB. But if we do it now, the price is low in any case, right? So probably you won't sell. So it will happen before the launch of units network. And uh, there is some estimate of the swap rate uh based on the average price not everybody is happy with it you know so i'll think a bit more if there is no better idea we'll do uh, the swap based on that rate uh, hey sasha hi from houston come on man you're are you in houston you were in saudi arabia Muhammad. <laughs> okay. Uh, ETA on Neutrino Fund. Neutrino team is going to have some update uh, before the new year. And uh, after the new year's holidays, they will post the report about the performance of the fund, like some kind of back test. They, they've done some back test and they will share it. And after that, there's going to be a launch on Ethereum. Uh, can you share the currently considered rate for the serial swap? One to ten. It is based on the average buy rate. So basically, you get uh, one L2MP for two serfs. For ten, sorry, for ten serf tokens. I got a toy. Cool. A very cool toy. And there is some uh, Easter eggs within those toys as well so <laughs> i've seen some crazy pictures guys you won't believe me no <laughs> did you find the easter egg there is some like flying easter egg yes delete the spam some other game we don't want we have our own games we don't need any other games guys guys i feel your festive mood like nobody's asking questions. <laughs> like, although there was some fat in the fat channel, but those people are always crazy. They're always mad, you know. So, but so it's okay. But here, guys, I think people are more relaxed, and they feel Christmas is coming. Uh, they wanna decorate their Christmas tree. 
So, <laughs> but still, guys, so we have this AMA, and we'll have one more. And this is like uh, the the last regular AMA on Friday this year. So, guys, let's get back to work. How will happen distribution of Union Zero at L2? Yeah, based on L2 and P. So uh, it's kind of like you stake L2 and P to a smart contract, you select your mining node, and basically you get Union Zero from the node. This is some kind of leasing uh, that we have on Waves, but with L2 and P token. Uh, what would happen if uh, the AX DAO created the proposal exactly the same as the AX exchange? Yeah, yeah, I think it's like redundant. Uh, the guys wanted to do it, like to have this proposal on AX, and I couldn't like tell them no because, so, <laughs> like, you know. So I, I wouldn't do that to be honest, but they did. Okay, so I think it's like some kind of uh, redundant thing because basically uh, the decision was made. Uh, the DAO is moving to power, so basically maybe this decision does not need any new votings. But the team decided to do that, so okay. Click on the deer, guys. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> It's very strange because uh, y nobody saw the deer yet. I can't believe it. Uh, sending the rewards to stakers. Yes, so the same the same as you do with your leasers. Basically, you send them unit zero. The same is going to apply here. Uh, a bump in my question. I ask every AMA any update on the. Yeah, 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 right, man. Yeah, I need to find out again because every every time you ask this, I think it was already implemented, but probably no. Play any significant cooperation with uh, Russia or international business using Waves blockchain? Yes, we have several projects quite interesting in the ecosystem. As for Russia specifically. As you understand, it's a very difficult question for me uh, because I'm Ukrainian, guys. Uh, so, how do you see XTN and SBT in, uh, next year? In the use case coming to NSBT, yes, uh, and we've launched the doll. Probably you missed that. And uh, the DAO was funded with uh, some excess NSBT. And basically, NSBT functionality won't change, but people who participate in the DAO can make profits from uh, the treasury. And what the team is working on, they're working on uh, a new index, which will initially be launched on Ethereum, because I think this idea is pretty good and it shouldn't be like, limited to waves. Uh, waves currently is pretty niche, unfortunately. So uh, I think this idea needs some mainstream limelight. And uh, because uh, the idea is to create a new index token, and for that you need to have a lot of liquidity in different assets. And uh, we don't have that on waves currently. So we don't have, for example, like Cardano token or Pawn or something else. But on Ethereum you do, because everybody has, even like native chains like Cardano, they do have their own token on Ethereum, ERC20. And it's pretty simple to launch this index uh, when you have access to liquidity. But uh, NSBT and Neutrino DAO will benefit from this because it basically funds this operation. Because as you remember, uh, the team, the DAO treasury was funded with an SBT and in return, the team has received some XTN. I don't remember how much actually. 
500k, I guess. So, uh, yes, maybe there's going to be some more like external investments, but in any case, uh, NSBT and Neutrino protocol will benefit from uh, the launch on EVM chains. Yeah, Christopher, I knew that you would say this, you know. <laughs> so, that's why I didn't announce it yet. Uh, Christopher is not happy with the swap rate that I mentioned for uh, Surf. And I told you that some people were not happy, and that's why I keep thinking about how to do it properly. It might maybe somebody uh, will come up with a better idea, or something else will come to mind. Uh, so miners will need to build tools for L2. You can uh, bridge Unit Zero back to Waves and use Waves tools. Delete the spam guys immediately. <laughs> or like is Japanese uh, like I I can tell Japanese from Korean but I can't read either so <laughs> did somebody click on the deer did somebody see the deer hey Bram uh, Bram from uh, the Ducks is here. Uh, yes, I think uh, I should mention that uh, there is a proposal in ways DAO to uh, buy back Act token. Uh, Mike saw the deer. Great. Good for you. And I think it's a very good proposal. And someone in the fat chat, like some like unwise guys, you know, like. <laughs> thought that Bram was pumping the egg and it's like so stupid guys because you need to use um, Explorer you need to uh, see the proposal to buy back um, egg from with inflation yeah uh, and basically you will understand that uh, it will pump naturally, you know, because I think there is like 70K act in circulation and there is buyback uh, and there is buyback process from waves inflation and there is tons of uh, new features that Bram is working on and I think he's doing an amazing job, especially under the circumstances that we have been facing. You know, with very limited budget, uh, he was able to keep the game alive and implement a ton of new features like turtles. Uh, there is some boosters. There is also duck hunt operational. You can just uh, look for uh, uh, ducks uh, using your mobile phone. Uh, augmented reality game, you know, so it, it's all working. It's a pretty impressive ecosystem. And, you know, <laughs> so it's incredibly undervalued, incredibly. So, uh, and the economics is good. The product is good. Everything is good. Take a look at uh, the ducks. Uh, I really appreciate what the guys are doing now. Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, one way for it to go, and that's up. Absolutely, Bram. Uh, what part of Virus is decentralized? Ivan is asking. Virus is used for the WX update. Uh, uh, what can I say about this? <laughs> you know, like... <laughs> Uh, yeah, good question. I actually assume the responsibility, you know, uh, because uh, <clears throat> it's a serious decision. And if I used the DAO, and I think the DAO would vote for it, right? Everybody would say that I'm trying to, like, offload the responsibility to the community. So I decided that I don't want to do that. The question is, do you think that people wouldn't vote for this? I think they would. 
But in this case, you know, uh, people would be saying he does not want to assume the responsibility. He wants to get the community involved. No, guys, I don't want to do that. So I just like made the decision myself. That's it. <laughs> like, uh, uh, am I to understand that for one serve, I would get uh, 0 0.1 L2MP token? Yes, this is uh, the estimate based on the average buy price for serve. If you do not like it, we can discuss it further. No official announcement has been made yet. So if you have better ideas, please, please, please share. Because, but uh, where this number came from, basically the average buy price for SERF was calculated. Evgeny Saev did that. Thanks, by the way, again. And uh, that's how this estimate came up. Guys, are you winning so, or you're getting NFTs? <laughs> Click on it while running. Yeah, it's very funny. Click on the deer or a moose. I don't know what animal that is. I think that might be a moose because uh, it's making a very distinct sound. <laughs> yeah. Someone put Sasha's face on the tree. Sure, 25 waves, man, and pay the team. Uh, strange. I, I won twice, actually. Two out of two. Yes. <laughs> like, uh, yeah, but okay, NFTs are also nice. Okay, guys, more questions? I understand that you are very busy now. I wouldn't ask any questions either if I had to play this beautiful game, but please. Ali, how are you going to do that? Ali is promising to hand your toy for 15 waves. How are you going to do that, man? <laughs> you have some connections in waves. Where can we see these NFTs in wallet? Use um, Keeper, Keeper wallet, use Keeper, please. Yeah. I uh, not implemented on a WX wallet, uh, but if you install Keeper, you will see those NFT there. Uh, L2 price target is one dollar, yes, one dollar each. And the use of this NFT are just collectibles. Collectibles for now, but maybe they will add something. Uh, the team uh, who's working on this have some like ideas about like bringing all those uh, games together, and of course launching a token. <laughs> and they have nice tokenomics. Actually, I've discussed it with them. Uh, maybe it's, it's coming next year. So in this case, uh, there's going to be utility to those NFTs as well. Finally, one, six waves. Good for you, B33H. 333H. Well, what's actually, how do you pronounce your nickname, man? <laughs> because I have some idea about this, but I really, I don't dare say it, you know. <laughs> yeah, L2 for one, 
no man there is 1 billion l2 mps now so potentially it's like a 1 billion dollar market cap now actually it, it's a bit less i think the target is around 100 million because not all l2s uh, l2 mps will be used Uh, how much should we expect the even zero transaction fee? So uh, it's not going to be zero. It's going to be like cents, be below 10 cents, I guess, but it's not going to be too cheap. Yeah, because actually people don't care about uh, cheap transaction fees, as you know, uh, looking at waves, because we've had a very low fees forever, but nobody cares. <laughs> So, yeah, I, and I think, you know, so currently uh, it's not like, because as you know, uh, I don't really like the current status of blockchain technology, uh, but currently uh, the idea is that you have to have high fees because they're kind of good. Uh, and it's actually, shapes your perception of different applications on blockchain so you don't think about creating very high volume applications for example on chain because you remember that fees are high uh, so i think that uh, the idea of units is to provide a very simple way for people to launch their own chains you know uh, and i think that most DMs actually uh, do not want low fees. They can benefit more from average fees. So we are not trying to create a system where you don't have to pay anything. On the other hand, when the fee is like $10, it kills your blockchain. So I think uh, Ethereum, for example, has this problem. Uh, I understand that they really want to pump it to ten thousand dollars because this is all they care about <laughs> but in this case actually uh, uh there's going to be some uh, you know con uh, congestion on ethereum because you will have more transactions due to uh, the pump and the fees will be like fifty dollars and this puts a limit on ethereum value because it makes the system sort of like unusable. Also, it makes uh, those L2s built on top of Ethereum unusable as well, because uh, they will have to pay crazy fees connecting to Ethereum. You know, so there is a limit to this. So uh, the fees should be somewhere in the middle, some like some middle ground uh, should be found actually here. So you, you should have some kind of like uh, medium fees, you know, so they can be too low, uh, they can be too high either, they have to be somewhere in between. Uh, how is going with synthetic trading in the U.S.? Yes, synthetics will be launched around January. Uh, uh, it, it's coming, uh, functionality is almost there. Also, there's going to be futures. Uh, yeah. There is an option to do it differently and faster than I thought, but I will show later. Synthetics are coming. Yes, there, there had to be some uh, preparatory work uh, to be done uh, with oracles, but it's done now. So January, at least on testnet, is going to be there. Dear Son, Emma Waves, hi. <laughs> I'm really glad for you. Unit zero price will be around $100, guys. This is the target. I, I can't guarantee, but I am telling you the target for unit zero, not for L2MP. Uh, how do you plan to maintain the price of unit zero after mining will start? People will have locked L2MP, only they have unit price very high, so they will sell. Yes, good question. Of course, uh, there is some ways to uh, limit selling, some incentives not to sell, and we will share later. 
please. Yeah, um, but uh, you need to understand that the supply is going to be very, very low. And with some incentives uh, and with some new community that we're going to attract uh, during the uh, retro drop campaign, I think there's going to be some buying pressure as well, not only selling pressure. So that's why I'm like postponing this airdrop because we need to make sure that there's actually going to be this buying pressure and it needs some preparation. Uh, so basically, uh, in a nutshell, uh, we need to create incentives for people not to sell pools. There's going to be a DAO where you can stake your in zero and decide what to do with 10% of inflation because 10% of inflation will go to unit zero DAO. Uh, supply will be very low, as you know, it will start from zero and some other things. So uh, all combined, they should create some buying pressure and they should actually uh, give some like provide some kind of like perspective for uh, long-term price behavior for the holders, you know. So if they see that there is some buying pressure, there's projects coming to in zero, probably not all of them will be selling like crazy. You know, so it needs some work. When airdrop, <laughs> like, an Indian guy is asking when airdrop. <laughs> People are winning nice Christmas toys. They are losing waves, but they are winning toys. Uni Zero worth five hundred dollars. Anything can happen in crypto, as you know. You know, with all those like crazy bull runs, bubbles. Uh, uh, you know, yeah. how come the following three teams, Pepper team, Waveskeeper, East, do not respond for seven days to a question posted on Power Forum and Telegram? Uh, I'm talking to all of them. So basically, let's go through the teams. Pepper team is working, uh, and uh, it will help us with the retro drop campaign, there is a nice idea actually to make some bridges for the upcoming units. Why they're not responding, I can tell you. I will ask. Keeper, Keeper is working. They're launching the domains. Uh, Max was uh, actually uh, ill as far as I know. Uh, but he's back to work now. Uh, and I, I'm talking to him, but I must say that he's not very responsive. <laughs> this is true. But they're working. East, they have some like reshuffling their team. And one of the team members will be responsible for public communication. And they will start next week. Next week. And I won't share the result of things happening with West currently, but I won't share so that you don't think that I'm like bullshitting. I wait for announcements. Uh, and East is related to West, as you know. Uh, Chris is asking, with uh, WX Future Trading, will there be a vault, vault where investors can deposit money? Yeah, very good question. There is like two ideas here to uh, use uh, a model like more DeFi model like Tsunami, which I don't like too much, but it's going to be much faster to launch. Uh, this model comes, I'm not like a, a very big expert in this, uh, but I think it comes from JMAX. Basically, you have a pool uh, where you pool investors' money, and basically, investors play against the market. They take the other side of a trade. There is some risks in this model, actually. It's not completely risk-free, in my opinion. 
Uh, and there is a, like a proper peer-to-peer -peer model where there is no party that accepts the risks. Uh, it can be built on our current matcher, but it will require more time. So we are thinking what to do actually. Maybe we'll, we'll start with this model, with this DeFi model, like Tsunami, and then we will build a better model. When do you plan to start the marketing campaign then? Uh, the marketing campaign will be launched in January, at the beginning of January, realistically, because we are working with uh, a marketing company now on the campaign, and we will have the plan next week. But then you have holidays. Nobody cares about anything during uh, New Year's holidays, obviously. Uh, as soon as holidays are over, we are ready to start. Uh, if in zero is $100, will we go up to $100 too? There is no direct connection, of course, but uh, let me explain about units, but please don't tell anybody. <laughs> this is a secret. Uh, basically, Waves is going to benefit from it because the miners will be the same. So you will have the same miners community. To mine in zero, you need to have waves because only waves miners can uh, mine in zero and share it with uh, people who stake alternative tokens with them. But from like outside perspective, this is going to be like a non waves project because it's like EVM. And what is hidden inside, what's under the hood, nobody knows. You know, so we are, we, when it waves will benefit, but this is going to be a pretty mainstream project because we need to do that. You know, this is a good moment and it could like give us a nice push. And then if everything goes well, we will do things that might be more important, you know, in the long run. But now we need to basically do this because everybody has been asking for years why Waves doesn't have EVM. And now we will have EVM, we will have a lot of EVM chains, we will have nice bridges between them. And on top of that, this is going to be very agnostic and people will even not understand that it is, it is Waves. You know, but Waves people will understand and they will benefit from this. So basically, we are launching this new thing to benefit waves. Um, but in public perception, this is going to be something independent. You know? So it's quite tricky. And uh, this is not something that, you know, came out of the blue, so to say. This is, is a result of uh, a lot of deliberation consideration and thinking about how to proceed. Oh. <laughs> but uh, the most tricky part always is execution. Uh, so we need to execute. We need to make it work now. Uh, what is an example of a better world like Tsunami for future trading? Uh, EVM, if you mean GMAX, GMAX, you have DYDX, DYDX is peer-to-peer -peer, actually, as far as I know. And GMAX is this model where you have uh, a pool which accepts the other side of the trade. Uh, when Pete can fly, wait, uh, check. Uh, Solana stablecoin, which is called Bonk. It wasn't launched yesterday. It was launched when Solana had major issues because of FTX. Uh, but it went up in price like crazy only now. So Pete should actually prepare a bit. He should eat well, sleep well, <laughs> like uh, get some like food, energy, rest. And when he is ready, he will fly.
Okay, guys, more questions, more questions, more questions, please, pod, hate, whatever you like to ask. Pod is not really welcome here because there's a separate pod channel, but it's tolerated. You know, it's tolerated. <laughs> yeah, oh, that, that too, Ali, that too, yeah. Pete has to prepare. And look what's happening with X and with uh, Ducks. Uh, Pete is like biding his time, getting ready to fly, and when the time is right, he will. Please relay the message. Yes, yes. I let me just ask. Yeah, because I don't think there is a big problem with this. There is some extent feeling pressure again, but I think it's over. I I will message now. Yeah, I I'm I'm typing now actually. Happy New Year. Okay, guys, I think, <laughs> okay. I won't like uh, hold you for too long today because I understand that you have to decorate your Christmas tree and maybe start preparing for the holidays, buying like gifts. Yes, and let me just finish with what is going to be uh, happening next week <laughs> and around uh, the holidays. So basically, Waves 1.5 will activate. There's going to be a voting in Miners community. Uh, we will finalize uh, the concept of L2MP campaign, which will be launched in January. What else? So many things. So many things actually now because I'm like preparing the, the launch, talking to different people. Uh, there is a lot of interest actually. Uh, so we need to play our cards right and make the thing really big. Uh, so many things, let me, okay, guys, so basically, uh, Waves 2.5 is coming, Ambassador DAO is working, L2, L2MP campaign has been prepared and finalized. Many things are happening. <laughs> yes, okay. <laughs> so, uh, I, you know, I, I'm in this, like, too deep, you know, so I, I uh, something is always happening, so it's really hard to say, uh, what is more important that, than something else, because it's like one flow, constant flow of something that is happening every day, 24 seven, and it's kind of like, you can't separate yourself from this. So it's really hard to uh, look at this from like, from, from outside, you know, so, because you're very deep inside. Okay, so I wish you a very nice week. Uh, holidays uh, uh, almost there. I hope next year will be better. <laughs> you know, but because this year was probably the worst that I've experienced in my life. Uh, I love you all. Ride on waves, power to the people. See you, I think, not on Friday, but I think on Thursday next week because of Christmas. Uh, love you all, guys. I'm always with you.